scrap pounds. Here's some of those copper motors and transformers out of that bucket. You've seen them in the short. I had a couple of them already scrapped down. Rid of the copper there. Some of them are pretty rusty and pretty dirty. That's all good. We'll get that cleaned up. All good number two copper. I got my hammer and slicer there. Just an old kitchen knife. And I'm gonna get some of these scrapped down. Let's do this, scrap hounds. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which one do I want to scrap mo? So we're gonna start with the transformer here, scrap hounds. We got the grinder. I'm just gonna run uh, the grinder across here where it's welded. And uh, along here on the back might not be necessary so much, but mostly along here. Because that makes the easy side for chopping these uh, transformers down. Remember, proper PPE when using a grinder. Alrighty, that should just come off there. Next, you're gonna wanna take on this seam right here and give her a good old whammer. You know, always a good idea to move your drill first. Ha ha ha. Get back here. Not exactly as planned. That's okay. There, gets that off. So that exposes your nice copper coils. And what you can do, take a couple transformers or something, and uh, take that. Oh, we didn't get the plate bent over enough. Hammer that over. Should have went the whole way the first time, but it didn't. So you just want to kind of set them there. Make sure you got a good enough space in between. Maybe not. This might not be sturdy enough. Get that guy out first. First coil. I mean, probably just set that guy down. Give him some taperonis on both sides. Uh, you'll probably want to sort of wiggle a little cricket on you. But that's okay. You just want to get her worked as close to that bottom part as possible. My other workbench pieces are in the process of being completed, my steel plates. So, this isn't my ideal bench plate, but it works. So there's your, uh, your ease, and those can go into a shed, or possibly a prepared, depending on your yard. Yeah take this paper off it's wrapped around the copper here now there is a, a bunch of tape around these sleeves it's uh, it can be a little bit of a pain to take off to get a nice clean product you want to get as much as that tape off so I mean you can even this may work just give it a the hammer give it a tear and then just give it a yank it pulls at least to that tape probably best to do it over a, a garbage can I am working outside unfortunately this will make a bit of a mess but as you can see you just want to pull that out get it off that paper there 
as much as possible anyhow. You know, most of the time I just go through and I get a bunch of them and then I'll sit down uh, together. Uh, sit down when I got a bunch of them at a point and then clean them all up. I wouldn't just kind of do this individually. It gets a little time consuming once you get to those ends. But uh, you get the idea. One heck of a nice bunch of copper though. And this guy here. Just nip him off close to where it's connected there. Same thing, it's just got a paper on it. Gonna, sometimes they don't peel off so easy. And then again, you just hammer, bada boom, bada boom. Separate that. This stuff, usually your tape peels off a lot nicer, which is nice. Comes off a little quicker. Hopefully I still was holding that in the view of the camera for you, for everybody. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little tricky. Yeah. And that didn't take too, too long. You know, when you're just, when you're going at it and you're not on camera, it's definitely a lot faster. You can probably do that whole transformer within a minute. So there, we got that copper. It's going to be all tangled up. And we got uh, a couple motors like this out of uh, microwaves. Also, your exhaust fans in bathrooms generally have a, have a motor like that, caught up in my screws, right on, always making a mess. That's what magnets are for. Uh, a couple other, you can see how rusty they were, or they are from sitting in uh, a bucket there. Another one, probably a bathroom ceiling fan, sort of thing. These come apart really nice and easy. So we'll get to uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo on one of those. That guy. Got another one there. Some more stuff down there. Lots of stuff to tear down, scrap hounds. Stick around, stick around. Can't forget about all the pieces we smashed off that transformer. That also goes into your shred, or possibly a prepared, but more than likely just a shred. So scrap hounds next on the smashing block is the bathroom fan motor. I believe that's what this came out of. But to disassemble this one, we're gonna need the screw gun, a pair of pliers. You wanna just grab the the keeper nuts on the back side. Now, the nice thing with these ones I noticed, take a magnet, no sticky, no sticky. Take your file, nice little filing. And that's nice yellow brass. Beautiful. So they're just little uh, brass risers. I remember Jimbo Scrapper really liking them. Anyway, you throw those in your yellow brass bucket. Continuing on, we'll just pull the rest of the screws out here. But I did just want to point that out. Those being uh, brass risers. Can't win them all all the time. Those brass pieces, there you go. There's three pieces. Nice long one there. But same thing. You know, just give it a quick break with the file. And there's that nice yellow brass. Uh, I'm not sure if it shows up much on the camera or not, but definitely three nice pieces of yellow brass. I'm gonna put those in my pocket. I just want to separate the motor shaft piece. Your fan blade would be attached to this. Now there is some aluminum on the outsides of these and then there is a steel, but uh, not really worth your time trying to cut that little bit of steel off, or sorry, aluminum off those ends. I'd just throw those into shred or possibly depending on your yard, 
uh, are prepared. The end uh, pieces here that held that in, they are a cast aluminum. So you'd want to take um, something like here. In one second, I'll be right back. I just need a flathead screwdriver or some sort of prying device. We're back, scrap pounds. We got uh, both, a little flathead screwdriver and a prying device. Set that there. Now I can just uh, hold it in your hand. Be careful not to slip. Yeah, this is a little thick. It doesn't want to get in there. There are kind of little keeper tabs that I did just notice here. So if you take a pair of side cutters and you'll notice in there the little folded over tab pieces. So what you'd want to do is just now these side cutters of mine are kind of wearing out. They don't want to cut too well, so they do not like what cutting wire. And then another thing you could do is just probably hit it with a hammer real quick. Bust uh, bust it open the cast aluminum. Not at all, just go into your cast. Back from the depths of the ground there so there here's that cap piece and it is magnetic so that'd be a piece of shred inside there is a little ball sometimes they can be a copper or a brass but this one is um, magnetic you can see it sticks to the magnet so into the shred and a little piece of metal that sticks to the magnet uh, there's a little bit of um, a grease in here they use it just kind of when everything spins it lubricates things as it goes so you just want to you know take a little screwdriver and a little hole in there got stuck in and just pull that grease out you know if you needed something uh grease for something you could reuse that grease recycle reuse reduce i'll wipe it on the bottom of my stump for a moment so anyway you would just repeat that same process for this end piece here now for taking these off they are really quick Move your drill off your smashing stand so that way it doesn't fall in your scrap steel pile. Grab your hammer and just make sure that it's sitting up nice and sturdy. And give it a bang. There you go. How's it going, scrap hounds? That piece there, that's what popped out of the center. This little pin is very handy for stuff like that. But anyway quick just uh, give that a twist with a pair of pliers like this you want to just kind of be careful you will catch the bit of copper around the top not the end of the world if you do oh these old pliers of mine there that pops off and then just pull her out Some beautiful number two copper. There is just a piece of tape that got stuck on in there. That just tears off nice and easy. There. Give her a scrunching. Oop. Scrunching and twisting and wrapping. Wrap her all up nice. And throw it in the pile. Beautiful, beautiful. There's a little bit of copper still left in these guys. That is really easy to take care of. Now you'll just want to take a pair of side cutters and give that copper wi uh, wire there just a, a nipperoo. And then that'll bolt, uh, fold over. They usually break off pretty good. They're kind of partly welded on. That's what holds it uh, together there. Just kind of give her a little bit of a twist a -roo. Bend her over. Sometimes you can, if you're gentle enough, you can just work that copper out with your nippers without cutting through the copper. And then same thing with these ones here. And these old poor nippers of mine like I say they don't like to cut too well anymore 
for you from more than likely from using them for purposes not in they're not intended for and there and get those off bend those pieces back over to this side now sometimes as you can see when they weld the copper pieces together it'll get stuck to the to that metal there when you're your top layer generally so I just you know it's welded right to a piece of metal I just generally that'll just go in my shred pile unfortunately get that little piece of copper off it is a little tedious sometimes pulling these off sometimes they come off nice and come apart nice and clean same thing here just pull that up with your pliers and there you get that nice little bit of number two copper there as well throw that in the pile that just goes into your shred or you're prepared one of the two I just throw it into my shred scrap hounds more copper for the horde as I was going through those motors I kind of looked over and uh, the camera was pointed straight at the ground so and needless to say I lost some footage on uh, I'm not even sure two or three of them maybe possibly there's still more to go through anyhow a microwave to tear down there but I'm just getting ready to make a dump run so I'm going to gather up the plastic there maybe even take those circuit boards back into the dump uh, there's some more plastic in some bins over there by that scooter and I still haven't checked out yet some more plastic down there and uh, yeah just gonna gather up a few things here around the scrap shack grab the garbage out of the garage and head to the dump so we will see what kind of treasures we can find there so we'll see you at the dump scrap pounds A little bit of weight in there must be some water, maybe. Oh, yeah, always water. Try not to spill it all. Ah, much better. To the truck. Yeah, need to say, so yeah, that's the mount. You guys don't see it too much, but uh. Yeah, filming away, filming away, and then all of a sudden it was pointed straight at the ground. So apparently my copper wire uh, didn't hold it some, hold it enough. We'll add some duct tape, scrap hounds. And grab that empty paint can. We're leaving red aggravation at home, and we're taking mom's scrap wagon today. Oh, there's already garbage in it. Love it. Not too many leaves left on the trees, but boy, I sure love these fall colors. Autumn has got to be one of my most favorite times of the year. <laughs> right, that's gonna go. Uh, it can all go, but it's got to go to the scrapyard. <laughs> what a mess. Oh yeah, a couple more uh, TV monitor screens, or computer monitor screens. I think I noticed when I dug that bucket of copper out. Yes, yes. A couple back there hiding. They've probably been there since winter. So they can go. 
spray paint can set that there I don't know what all is in here for plastic but that can that can go so just throw that paint can in there till we get to the truck you guys can ride with the plastic <laughs> looking through the bottom of a shop vac if you're wondering what the plastic piece is Toss that in there. Want that pink can separate. Oh, not gonna come out. Uh, a funky degaussing cable wrap. Can you guys see degaussing cable wraps like that? I've come across a couple, one or two of them was aluminum, and I do believe this one was actually a copper one. Yeah, one more empty bucket other than leaves. We'll set those guys just right there. Pink can in the back. Not a whole lot of garbage to take in today, but it gives me an excuse to go snooping for treasures. Like I need to add more to my yard. Of course I do, scrap hounds. Garbage cat. Where's my scrap hounds? Must be inside. Oh. Right, I gotta, uh, Porky, your boyfriend is eating the garbage. You better have a talk with him. Tell him you're a kitty, not a raccoon. I could probably wait till the weekend trip. Oh yeah! Coffee, check. Cheers, scrap hounds. <sighs> Delicious. Village. <laughs> Copper rims. That's what I think they look like. Copper stars. Explore, everybody. Explore. Throw back to old Instagram logo. It also matches my t-shirt and hat. I need some new ones done up though for the channel. Definitely something that I'd like to get done up, that's for sure. Scrap hounds get some some actual scrap hound stickers and uh, and then some channel stickers. Bush dog scrapping. I was throwing around uh, the idea BDSM recycling. Bush dog scrap metal recycling. Cheers, scrap hounds. Love it. We'll see you at the dump. I did almost forget. You guys remember that Coors Light Banquet bottle that I picked up when my mom and Auntie Carrie and I went down to the river to celebrate their birthdays? I'm gonna go throw it in the broken glass bin at the dump. And this other kind of cool glass bottle that I have found along the ways. It's too bad it's broken. Oh, there's a metal hanger on there. I'll have to pop that off. But anyway, yeah. Just wanted to add that. Making sure that these broken glass bottles go back so they're not a hazard. And just set them down there, they should be safe. Hopefully. Just gonna unload the house garbage in the dumpster bins, and then we'll head on to the take it or leave it bin, the sea can for e waste, maybe a stop over at the scrap metal bin. House garbage, check. Drats! Somebody's parked in the way. Hard plastic. Where you been all my life, scrapping junk? We need to send all that to you. <laughs> Let's unload some garbage, scrap hounds. 
I'm gonna have to probably keep my pl hard plastic because these bins are completely full. <laughs> anyway, we can dump the e-waste off. Plug-ins! Always love it when I find the plug-ins here. Oh, ceiling fan, love it. Power pack in, be a nice little transformer. We can take this nice little box here. Dump all that wonderfulness in there. And then we'll just take it and set it there. Screens there with it. Take my pail back. Couple monitors kicking in here. Couple more monitors. Always winds up being so many of those uh, Wi-Fi boxes. They're just such a pain to, to break open, unfortunately. It's got some weight to her. Yeah, I'll probably I'll fish those out. Those are all the CRT TVs that I've scrapped. Not the flat screens yet. What's that? Oh, I got a solar panel. Kind of cool. I've never scrapped a solar panel. There's probably nothing much good in it. Well, I want this ceiling fan. Oh, that's fancy. An LED one. I have yet to acquire an LED ceiling fan. But uh, we'll just set that there. And grab those other screens that I dropped. Set them, ah, uh, even just back here. Keeps them back out of the way. What's that? Oh, scrap metal, scrap metal. Love it. There we go. Hoof this over to the truck. That's all right. Scrap anyway. Set these VHSs. The only reason they're going back, I think I've got uh, extra copies of them. All right, what do we got? Stainless steel sink. Still got its one bottom side in. Boom! Beautiful. I like it. What's this? What's this? Scrap pounds. Louisiana girls. Maybe I could weld a flat plate onto it. Something like that. We'll move on here. What do we got? What do we got? Looks like a doorbell. Probably have some brass in it. Toss it in there. Oh, check this out. Sometimes those are brass. What's this? What do we got? What do we got? Coaxial cable, I'm not even gonna worry about it. That stuff's a pain. These styrofoam coolers are always handy. Treasure. Yeah, that's cool. From Ikea, the most expensive fashion, house fashion store there is. <laughs> anyway. Let's get this put in the truck. I'm gonna throw this styrofoam, we'll throw the styrofoam cooler in the truck. And we'll throw it in on the other side. Because apparently, I locked my door. Hey, look at that. Throw it right in the window. Hit the unlock button. <laughs> hmm. Stock pot. Might make for a stock pot for my acids and stuff from the gold refining. Well, not refining, but recovery. Alright, what's over on this side? <laughs> Another shuffleboard trophy. Let's 
these metal racks and stuff. Scrap metal. What's this here? What do we got? What do we got? Sounds like an empty box. It's metal pipe. Scrap metals. Garage sale here. Huh. Person can just take and repaint that sign. What's in the basket? Eh, old teapot. True HEPA dust filters. We got somebody playing the radio. I got a cut scene. Sorry, Scrap Hounds. Hey, well, I grabbed that bassinet. If nobody wants it, it'll make for a good bin. Uh, I'm throwing scraps in. I grabbed those, uh, just them different wire things. There's some goodies. Uh, in that bag, an essential oils burner with some essential oils. But uh, yeah, and a nice uh, coat. There's that cooler. I need a sip of coffee, scrap hounds. I always love it here. Just absolutely beautiful spot down here. And I grabbed this pegboard. Might be handy for putting hey bush dog scrapper you gotta do this put my post-it notes up on it something like that cheers yeah dug that tv out that tv actually had its cord attached to it so i will plug it in test to see if it works and that stuff in there and another tv that i pulled out we'll see you at the junkyard That's gonna be one heck of a blaze when they light it. And bring some hot dogs and marshmallows along. <laughs> Cheers, Scrap Hounds. Scrap Hounds, we got us some treasures at the dump. Gotta love it, gotta love it. We'll dig through it all when we get back to the junkyard. We'll continue on with some more of them copper transformers and copper motors. Or we'll find something else to do. Procrastinations. Story of my life. <laughs> ten cents, ten cents, ten cents. Love it. Oh, she's a tall boy. Tall cans. Oh, isn't that nice? A glass bottle. Really. I'm gonna set that in with the plastic that I had to bring back. <laughs> it's nice to see the dock still up. Probably within another week or so they'll have it taken out, but ew, wouldn't want to be swimming. The water be cold, but oh, that algae piles up thick in this back corner of the lake. Bloop. This is my local fishing spot. This is about five minutes down from my house. There's a geocache out on that island. I have found it. I know where it is. If you see that spruce tree that sticks up kind of there in the center bit, it's pretty much at the base of that. Yeah, I just love coming down here, spending time, whether it's fishing, and just bring a chair down, sit on the end of the dock here. Just, it's beautiful, it's pristine, especially this time of the year with all the autumn colors, the leaves, other than the green algae in the lake, but it's actually pretty cool looking too. But yeah, so I just wanted to come down. I know I've been down here once in a while, but uh, bringing you guys down here, 
And uh, like I say, I was hoping that the dock was still up, which it is for a little bit longer. Take a little walk out on it and enjoy it. I don't know if you guys can see, there's a duck of some sort swimming. Getting on some cans and bottles here. Kind of wish I had gloves on. Because it is loaded. Just going to grab the ones on top though. Because people tend to throw maggots and minnows and you name it in these garbage bins because it is close to a boat launch so it can get pretty nasty pretty nasty see there's uh looks like worms some jumbo dew worms maybe oh well, they call them trout worms but anyway money 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 10 cents a can 10 cents a bottle Gotta love it. I don't want to dig too low. Hey, we'll grab that one there. Oh, we dropped her on the ground. Nice to see people putting Tim Horton's coffee cups where Tim Horton's coffee belongs in the garbage. Drink McDonald's coffee. Tastes much better. But that's just my two cents. Not a big fan of the Timmy's coffee. It's way too overrated. That Wi-Fi tower there, the biggest waste of scrap metal in my area. None of the uh, Wi-Fi companies or whatever will even pick it up. So here we sit out here, we could have nice line of sight Wi-Fi. No. I'd love to come here with my cutting torch and cut it down. Don't they say that out loud? Well, scrap hounds, we're back from the dump. I'm just uh, here by the scrap shack. Gonna empty my pockets of the treasures. A couple plug-ins. I think that's the remote for that ceiling fan. Pikachu! And a couple more plug-ins. Let's go unload the truck. Plug in. Catch them all buckets. <laughs> what you doing, punk? Bones. Rosie and Bones. Sitting in a tree. No. <laughs> That's quacking. Ah, there we go. Grab the wheelbarrow. Use that to get the, I'll throw the scrap from the truck in the wheelbarrow. for the scrap pile. Here it is in all its amazing glory. anymore dang it sorry it was probably already pretty broken <laughs> you 
gonna uh, wash that jug out. Listen, you mister, wash that jug out. That'll make a good stock pot, like I was saying. There's that uh, door chime thing. Some nice copper coils in there. Two of them. Cool. I'm gonna just leave that in there. Hard plastic. Hey, look. That solar panel might still work. <laughs> you know, something's blinking anyway. It's gonna blow. It's gonna blow. Ceiling fan. Leave that scrap metal there. We do want the pail. Pull that into that. We'll get all this into there. It'll hold. Oh yeah. And I got the stuff pulled out of the truck there. Uh, spare winter coat and this uh, reflective jacket coat sweater I guess it's just a jacket always handy to have kicking around you throw it over top of your sweater it looks like it's kind of large would be a little large on me in the bag here we have just uh, some knickknack stuff and Jerry. Yeah, just some knickknack stuff in that uh, essential oils diffuser and some essential oils. We got grapefruit, pamplemousse, <laughs> and uh, peppermint. Cool, cool. And yeah, just those uh, metal racks. Go right there, right now. And those two metal poles. Oh, shred more money. <laughs> and that styrofoam cooler. cooler. It's kind of tight on there, but anyway. Something to give away. We've got uh, cousins having babies all the time, so maybe that'll be handy. Of course, they probably already have something like that. If not, it'll make for a great catch it all bucket. Oh, yeah, and there's uh, the pegboard. I had an idea, maybe this pegboard, I can paint it up or something and uh, put my channel name and hashtag on it. Set it up for in the background or something. Reuse, reduce, recycle. TVs for gold recovery. Love it. Whoa. Who leaves the darn wheelbarrow in the way? Bush dog. Set that there. Where did all that scrap come from? <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Just stomp on it. 
There we can set this right there. Beautiful scrapper's gold. There we can put that away. Wash those two coats there. I'll get all those cans and bottles taken down over there on the other side of the barbecue where all the rest of the cans and bottles go. And a couple other stainless steel sinks kicking around that that can go with. I had to take the centerpiece out to, over there. To, so it's still got to tear that hot water tank down. Any of the refiner guys in the scrap hounds pack, if you think that that jug is good, let me know. If you think that it might not be no good, let me know as a stock pot for storing my acids in. Scrap these two TVs down for gold recovery and any little bits of copper and the aluminum heat sinks. And like I said, I've never gotten a LED, LED uh, ceiling fan before. So that's kind of cool. It almost be neat if it worked. Not as an actual ceiling fan, but just the light panel. It's still a beautiful day out. Should we scrap something down still? You guys got time for that? In a couple more minutes? A few more minutes? 10 more minutes? 20 more minutes? I don't know. I love to hang out with you guys. I hope you guys like to hang out with me. Should we smash one more copper motor or transformer apart? Yeah. Let's get some more Scrapper's Gold. Oop. Uh, dig on there, there we go. Try a different tool here. Sometimes this works really good, sometimes not so much. But, uh, definitely works better when you have a vise to put it in, but this here you just kind of hook it on either side. Same sort of thing, you're gonna have to kind of work it around, but uh, Thank you, Bench. Woo, we lost that one. We got it. Yeah, so there's the copper out of her. You just have to clean the strings off and get the rest of that uh, tape and whatnot. The insulated copper wire off there. And there's more copper for the hoard. Scrap ons, I will say. If you got a broken wrench, any broken tools, don't throw them away right away. They always have another purpose. Reuse. <laughs> yes, we love that. Ching! <laughs> Mom's just picking up the leaves with the pull behind lawn sweeper. But yeah, rough your bones. If you don't like to push mower, riding mower, weed eaters. Pretty good. 
Uh, mostly works on like your speed. So the faster you go, the better it throws the leaves in. scrap pounds i hope you all enjoyed this video as much as i did making it but well, we're gonna end her here now if you enjoyed the video smash that thumbs up button and drop me some comments to read down below and if you're new to the channel and you're enjoying what you're watching so far hit the subscribe button jingle that bell for all notifications cheers scrap hounds much love